Hello! Today I'll finally paint some glasses onto mini dolls. Mainly to create a Harry Potter heaven. Bricomotion. Mini dolls are mostly female and without glasses, and that's fine, as it reflects their target demographic. But sometimes you get a crazy amount of comments asking, um, nay, demanding a Harry Potter video. So you search and you search for the perfect head and there just isn't one. Uh, oh, that just me? You don't have that problem? Alrighty then! This video is completely self-indulgent. Yeah! It's extremely hard to paint round, symmetrical objects on a curved surface without any help. That's why I avoided it for years. But now I had an epiphany that I could use nail polish stamping plates. To be honest, I had the idea for a long time, but I was only on the lookout for eyeglasses-shaped designs that would be the perfect fit for a mini doll. And I never found them. What I've recently found is this circle shape that happens to be just the right size. And it took me only a year to realize that. What a genius I am! And so the stamping began. The mini doll's head is still weirdly shaped, so it took me several tries to get the circle to look right. And then I had to make another symmetrical one. That proved to be surprisingly difficult. At several points I just wanted to give up. But apparently I wanted to make three Harry Potter versions more, so I continued. After the stamps were finally applied to my liking, I used black paint to connect them and to fill in any gaps. A toothpick helped me not to make a mess of everything. With that, the glasses were done. And only two years later than planned! Wow! So, if these glasses were all you wanted to see me do, congratulations, you're done! But I'm not. Harry had to get a scar as well. Without it, he wouldn't be Harry now, would he? Now I'm done. With Harry. Unfortunately, my painted scar doesn't align with the hairpiece Lego intended for him. <sighs> Lego could have asked me where I wanted the scar to be. Or I could have checked before painting it on. You know, which have As I was already equipping the dolls with some glasses, I gave Professor Trelawney the exact same glasses as Harry. And I think it works. For Professor Flitwick, I used the same trick, just in silver. See how just changing the color makes a huge difference. Dumbledore's half-moon spectacles required putting the stamp on, removing the top part of it and painting a thin silver line to close them up. That was quite a lot of work, but I'm very happy with the result. Most fun and work were Luna's Spectre Specs. Here I used the stamps only as a guide, painting the edges in old gold and then filling them in with pink and blue. Getting some shimmer in all of the colors used was a must. But you already knew that. This probably isn't the first of my videos you are watching. Oh, the things you learn here. I think original LEGO glasses still look better than any of my painted ones. And if they ever release Harry Potter characters as mini dolls, I'm gonna buy them. All. Multiple times. Until then, I can and will enjoy my custom ones. And you know, you can use LEGO's original glasses for Minerva McGonagall and Rita Skeeter. So at least that's something. Bye bye!